Today is going to be so special, guys. <laughs> One, boom, two, boom, three, guys. Uh, welcome from my studio, Gopelli. I'm so excited. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you, like you can see here, we have uh, three pizzas because this video is all about uh, how to cook uh, and make uh, and some couple of tricks, how to cook multiple pizza at the home oven. So, guys, I'm going to show you today an amazing pizza dough made uh, in the easy way as possible, direct method. And uh, I mean, take a look. This is, it says everything. Soft and crunchy in the same time. So let's go ahead and not lose in time. Just watch until the end. Stay, make sure you invest your time. It's only 10 minutes of your life. And share with friends, it's totally free. Let's start with the pizza dough. The real deal, the dough. But I want to explain you something. Uh, I always have a little bit of polish in the, in the fridge, like you can see. But today, it's not the case. Today I'm gonna go ahead and make it super easy for you. So we're gonna go ahead and make the direct dough in the same day because yes, it's possible. So make sure write it down this recipe. Go ahead and smash the like right there. Let's reach this 1 million subscribers. Let's start this fabulous recipe. So this is what you need to make about three to four pizzas. You need 380 grams of cold water, 15 grams of uh, fresh yeast. If you don't have fresh yeast, go ahead and use uh, eight grams of dry yeast. Let's melt it this way. I always recommend to make uh, uh, the dough with polish because the texture, fragrance that comes out much better. And of course, it's much uh, digestible. 15 grams of sea salt. Melt everything together. Now we need the flour, 580 grams of zero zero flour. This is how you put it on the one end. Uh, one end you work, one end you pull the flour, just like that. Now let's start to work the dough in a bowl until is uh, everything together. And then we're gonna go ahead and work the dough on the counter. Usually this process is gonna take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes even less than that. At this point, when the dough, uh, when all the ingredients are integrated, we can go ahead and add the olive oil. So always save just a little bit. We use about 20 grams of, of extra virgin olive oil. Now let's go ahead and integrate the olive oil. Of course, the dough is gonna be a little bit uh, sticky, but I'm gonna, you have to make it like that to be able to make the dough in the same day, ready in the same day. So. The dough will be a little bit uh, sticky after we work it, but uh, make sure to do this, follow this step we are in right here right now. Go ahead, let's get the, the olive oil that we saved a little bit ago, a little bit a while ago, and now try to put it everywhere on top the dough. Try to keep the, the shape as a ball. Voila. So now at this point, let's just leave it like that on top of the counter for about, uh, I want to say 15 to 30 minutes, depends. If you have time, go ahead and let it rest for 30 minutes at uh, just like that, nothing on top, with the olive oil on top and uh, a cintori. So now, tap, tap, tap on top, with a little bit of uh, help with the spatula, go around and then follow the step. So we just gra grab it and then pull it up. And then gently go ahead across, grab it and pull it up until the dough it's nice and smooth. If, uh, see, this is building really well. So when you, once you see this starts to break in a little bit apart, go ahead and uh, plastic wrap on top and let it rest for about one hour at room temperature. And uh, I'll show you the next step. Voila guys, one hour is passed by and now it's time to uh, make the balls. Like you can see, the dough structure come out lovely and fantastic. So now we're gonna go open up a little bit and we're gonna make uh, exactly three balls. So we're gonna cut the dough exactly on the same three pieces. Olive oil in your hands. We wanna keep this part of the dough on top. So top, top on top. So this is how let's make the balls. We're gonna keep it exact. Wow, it's full of air. So you see, this needs to be luck right there. So now we keep it like that. Take off, try to take off all the air from the dough. At this point, let's get a container. Let's place it inside the container. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. 
You can find this container on, uh, on the link in description. Those are perfect, I got it from Amazon. Cheap, they're not too expensive. And those are perfect because if you wanna go ahead and put it in the fridge, this, will, this is the only box that fits in the fridge. And we're gonna, it's gonna, the dough is gonna be ready in about two to three hours, depending on the room temperature. Always check out when the dough, uh, when the dough doubles up the sides, that means it's ready to use. So let's wait two to three hours total here on this recipe. We have about uh, five hours, which is not bad. The dough is gonna be nice and smooth, uh, nice and perfect and fragrant. For the best results is to put this in the fridge and use it tomorrow. But still, it's gonna be lovely. And today we're gonna go ahead and make uh, three pizzas super special, not the usual margarita, because uh, just wait until the end. And also we are going to compare the stone, the bricks, and the steel. So make sure to watch until the end. Let's go smash that like I see you in about two to three hours. And then I wanna to explain to you before, in the meantime that the dough is resting, I wanna to explain to you a couple of things because this is the video was about. Here we go. So uh, today I'm going to show you, of course, uh, how, like the title say, how to cook multiple pizza at home. Uh, so what I did here is uh, I placed the, uh, the first uh, pizza stone on the little bit on the left side with leaving a little bit of space there then I place uh, the bricks which is uh, my favorite on the little bit on the center of course leaving some space on the right side and then at the end I place a uh, steel uh, steel pizza to cook the well, this is steel basically to cook the pizza on the bottom because this is gonna go up uh, more fast than the other ones of course so here is what we're gonna do basically one hour before making the pizza we're gonna go ahead and uh, start start uh, the oven on roast at the max temperature this oven goes up to 525 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep it right there so we're gonna go ahead and keep it for pre-eating at uh, the max temperature for about one hour before making the pizza. It's gonna be interesting, so let's wait uh, that the oven get, uh, that the dough uh, is uh, proofing. We're gonna go ahead and make the all three pizzas in the same time. We're gonna place it in the oven, cook it in the same time. We're gonna go ahead, of course, eat all together. That's the goal. We don't want the people to eat one pizza and then the other one. In Italy, we all eat together in the same time, in the same table. So that's the goal here. Ooh, voila guys, everything is ready, everything is set. This is the dough after exactly two hours at room temperature, looks nice, puffy, and ready to rock and roll. If you don't use it right now, of course guys, you can go ahead and put it in the fridge and that will block, that will block the fermentation. The oven has been on for an hour. Temperature is uh, uh, right now at 511 Fahrenheit, but I want to show you the stone. Okay, so the first stone on top is 500. The bricks are right now 470, which is not bad. And the, and the steel on the bottom, it's about 500. So, so did you see we have all three about the same temperature. So that's the oven is at 500, which is perfect. For the first pizza, we're gonna use uh, some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, cherry tomato, some uh, bresaola, which is beef, uh, grated grana cheese, and some grated lemon. Second pizza, we're gonna use uh, some uh, heavy whipping cream, uh, mortadella, pistachio mortadella, fresh mozzarella, and uh, grated pistachio. And of course, for my daughter, that she doesn't eat anything, we're gonna make it right now, okay? And of course, for her, we're gonna make a classic tomato, basil, and grated parmesan cheese. And of course, you put right now a pinch of, uh, uh, too much, a pinch of salt. And the tomato sauce is ready. And of course, guys, if you're making three, four, ten pizzas, you have to have the space that you're gonna accommodate the pizza. So this is how we start. We get the flour everywhere. Look at this. Put the flour on the counter. Make sure you open up and then you have to take out uh, all three pizzas in the same time. In the flour, make sure you put it in the flour. One, two, always ends that on top. And uh, three. Of course, guys, go slow, don't rush. 
otherwise you gotta mess up everything. So stretch, press, press, press the air to the cross. And then a little bit of flour if it's sticky. Put the extra flour on the bottom. Don't worry about being extra. So voila, let's make a pizza. We need to, to make the pizza 12 inches. That's why I made uh, the pizza a little bit more thick. Then we stretch it all three. Voila, same thing with this. Voila. So guys, we need to make sure they, the pizza, they, they're not stick. So, see I'm moving all three. This is a little sticky, little bit of flour on the bottom. That's it. Now we have to make the base of the pizza. Because we're cooking on home oven, we have to pre par bake the pizzas to make it the pizza a little bit more, uh, uh, better texture. Voila, the game starts now. I wanna show you. This is how you put the, the, pizza, uh, the pizza on the peel. Little bit of uh, flour on top of the, the peel and then boom, under. Let's make the side of the peel. Like you can see, this is a 12 inches pizza. So let's go ahead, let's cook it. Actually move it a little bit this way. You don't get the flour under the pizza and we are ready to go ahead and cook the pizza. When you're cooking at home, you have to open and close right away. So let's start to put this one right there in the middle. Then close right away. Then let's grab the second one. We put it all the way on the bottom. Make sure you open everything. Voila, close right away. Let's get the, the last one and we put it on top. Voila, close right away. Now make sure you cook the pizza at the gold color. We don't want to cook it all the way. So let's go ahead, let's wait about uh, three to four minutes and then we're gonna finish up these pizzas. So guys, go ahead, clean up a little bit. Space, because we're gonna go ahead and finish these pizzas. Okay, first one, it's uh, gonna place it right there, ready. There we go, the second one, ready. And the third one, it's ready. So guys, we're gonna place it how we put it inside the oven. So all three pizzas, no, no, I need this, I need this. No, so I, I, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> so I need to show the, the, the picture, the videos. Guys, she's stealing my pizzas. Okay. That's all for you. Basta, basta, papa. So let's finish up this one red, which is uh, just tomato sauce. This one, a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. And also make sure to get a little bit of uh, olive oil on your finger and then go on the crust. I think I explained you this in my other videos. So nice and puffy, do you see this? A little bit of, uh, just lightly on the crust this way to give a nice gold texture to the pizza. A little bit of basil on top, that's all she eats and uh, a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on top. There we go, this is ready. Then we need uh, pistachio, no, mortadella. Guys, the pistachio mortadella is so good. Uh, yeah, fresh mozzarella, and I like to put the pistachio inside the pizza oven. This way it gets nice and crispy, just a little bit. There we go. Now for my pizza, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, fresh cherry tomato as a base. Fresh mozzarella, uh, olive oil on top, voila. Let's finish up this pizza. We're gonna put it in the same way how we put it in the oven. There we go. Let's put the first one in there, voila. Take it off. So guys, the goal here is uh, wait uh, about one minute and then we're gonna go ahead and switch it around from the bottom to the top. So we go ahead and mix it up the pizzas. This way, doing this will help the cook of the bottom because probably the one on the bottom is steel, so it's gonna be a little bit more hot, so uh, more hot. So that will make the pizza a little bit more crispy. So let's go ahead and wait another few minutes and the pizza, we're gonna see how they are. That's ready to rock and roll. The goal here is to take it out all in the same time. There we go. We got one. Oh, mine. Two, the, my daughter won. And uh, to finish the third one. Okay guys, like you can see, let me show you really quick. Like you can see, we got one, we got two, what is it? And we got three. So please go ahead, judge, like you can see, let's see. The test, soft, it is. And uh, 
crunchy, it's soft and crunchy at the same time. Let's go ahead, let me finish this. Everything hands, little bit of extra pistachio on this one. Let's see the bottom. Guys, the bottom is nice, well done. This one at the bottom is uh, well done. It's not burned, it's well done because it was all the way in the bottom, so the steel made the pizza too much cooked. But it's still amazing. This one, let's finish up with a little bit of uh, bresaola. Let's put some grana cheese on top, just like that, pom pom pom. Done, let's get the lemon and uh, it's grated, grounded, grated, some uh, little bit of uh, just the, the, just the flavor, guys, a pinch. Fresh pistachio, a little bit of fresh pistachio on top, like the flour. And guys, please, this one right there, little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on top. And, uh, and guys, this is how to cook multiple pizzas. So I'm ready to go ahead and enjoy. I wanna taste this so much, but the goal, the purpose why I'm making all three is because we're gonna go ahead, sit on the table and enjoy this with family, all together in the same time, in the same table. So guys, just respect for the table. Respect per la tavola, guys, because it's important to eat all together with all the family. So make sure you prep everything together, and if you're not able to, try to learn. If it's not, put it in a warm place, but put out all the table. Don't eat like a buffet style. Please, from my Sorito Copelli, thank you so much. Guys, see you next week. A lot of things coming out. Wow, it's fantastic. Ciao!